Yeah, guys, it is time for another one of those videos. Now, why do I like recording these videos so much? Uh, well, because it's easy content. I just play some somebody good, I record the game, and then I talk about it afterwards. It's, it's some good, easy content. I also think that it's entertaining. So that's twofold right there. Also, this game, it's got a nice little story to it because this kind of is more about what you're thinking about during a Madden game and not just the X's and O's, which I guess is not really X's and O's. It's just like squiggly X's and like not really O-shaped O's because Madden is very simplified compared to real football. But just how you can stay focused, stay motivated during a game because I must say, during the game, honestly, I didn't think I had any chance of winning it. He was way better than me. He moved the ball effortlessly. I, I felt like I had to fight for every single yard. I really didn't think that I had, like, I had a chance. But then I just stayed with that. Just, just said, okay, I'm not going to quit. So I'm just going to try my best. Just keep working at it. And then after a while, I got back into the game and it became really interesting again. Now, I want to address something that happened after the game. After the game, I was playing against the streamer. I knew that he was streaming. Uh, I checked into the chat and I just said GG. And then afterwards, he was... He was basically, he was behaving like a little bitch boy. He was calling me out, all types of shit. And it, 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 it's not that I'm that offended. I guess I am a little bit because if he, if he just calls me a dickhead and an asshole, then I'm, of course I'm going to be a little bit offended. Uh, he didn't say that actually. I don't know. I don't remember what he said, but he said some bad things and then he was shitting on me for whatever, which I'm cool with. I mean, I'm shitting on him in this, in this video. It's fine. Uh, but yeah, I just want to address that and just say, hey, I know that I got lucky in this game. I think Versace is a better player than me. But after all, you just gotta gotta say GG's. This game is ass. I can't stop you. You, when it came down to it, also couldn't stop me. That's just how the game plays. So stop being an asshole about it. But yeah, enjoy this game. It was a good game. As you can see right here, actually, this was the first game of the stream as we're in the game right now. Sorry if my chair is squeaking. I gotta get a new chair, man. That this fucking chair is, chair is annoying. You can see in the uh, top right corner, we got Sam Versace. He's a, tw he's a Twitch streamer. He's... I used to like him, but then uh, I played him one time where I was running uh, QB Blast. I think that's what it is uh, out of the uh, Saints playbook for a weekend. I ran up on him. I just broke a couple of runs, beat him. And then he was uh, talking shit to me afterwards in which I was like, but yeah, it's, it's stopped being such a, such a dickhead maybe. And ever since then, I didn't like him. So uh, I respect his grind, but yeah, no, he was... I, I, I'm going into this game knowing that he's a good player, but I, that I dislike him. So already going with some motivation to beat him now first and ten right here is moving this ball effortlessly now i must say it's easy to move the ball in madden 22 in general but I, but i had no answer against this and this is even worse than some other dudes that i've played that i couldn't stop yeah i just, i had no idea how to stop him i was right there he throws his corner out to the tight end and U trips, it's just so creative i can't run it because I, i'm terrible at running U trips. i tried it i'm i'm absolute dog shit so with that in mind I respect somebody doing this, obviously. Now, he scores seven right here. Very, very simple drive by him. It's just about keeping up because I know that I'm not going to score. Uh, not going to score. I'm not going to stop him. I played somebody in new trips right before this. Uh, or was it right before this? Anyways, I remember that I played some in new trips the, the weekend league and I played in the weekend league game before this. I don't know if it... I think this was my first game of the stream. But anyways, I, I can't stop new trips. It's... It's horrible. So I knew that I was just going to have to keep fighting with him. That's right there. Try to make a little bit of a stick move. It just doesn't work. Uh, second one right here. I throw this corner out against Makers just in time. Matt Reed just not getting out there. I love this Devin Hester, by the way. Make Definitely make sure to grind the levels for him. Uh, it, def it definitely is worth it. That's right there. I slide. Now it turns to 30. Uh, he, can't, he hasn't really shown signs of stopping me either. But, of course, it's a long game. He can adjust. Uh, which I don't know if I'll be able to because I just I just have no idea what YouTube's is like this year. Uh, as I throw a good, nice little outdraw, nice little stick work by me too there, by the way. Let me just add that. First and 10 at the 12, run the ball. Eh, nothing there. Lose a yard. Second and 10 right here, running a motion uh, over. Oh my God, that's, that's actually really close. That was a nice little play. Thought that post was in, bounce, but whatever. It's right there. His zone just thumbs out that's this game is terrible i mean that was a deep third i knew that i could I, I didn't think that he was gonna go to the inside but as soon as i saw that i was like okay i can throw it with the pass lead up possession catcher in the end zone yeah zones are terrible this year and he said that actually after the game but what can you do i just throw the laser as right there second and just he just he just see there's no way that i'm gonna stop this uh, as right there i get him outside of the pocket he just throws that cross for a little bit too late he he gets so much time to like Something is up with my blitz. It's just not working as well as I wanted to. It's right there. Those are to the outright on 13 inches. I didn't think that was going to stop him there. On 13 inches. Right there. Ooh. 
Ooh, I mean, he probably doesn't make that read if I'm a little bit early on that. Uh, but I had the right intuition, and that's giving me kind of a little bit of confidence. It's right there. I saw that curl open the entire way. I just knew there was no way to get over there. Uh, good throw by him again. And at this point, I was talking about the mental uh, toughness that I kind of didn't have during that game, but then somehow found it. Uh, I have no idea how to stop it. At this point, I'm like, oh my god. And my drive was not that easy either. So he go, he's going for two right here. He's throwing that. Yeah, zones are terrible for him and for me. Same thing. Uh, it's right there against the two, of course. And I know that I'm not going to be able to stop him. At least I'm not feeling like I'll be able to stop it. And him and yeah, I just I just got to move on. I just got to do my best thing. It's right there. Oh, my God. And sorry I, I knew that was coming so I'm, I'm kind of play acting when i say that oh my god i mean I, I i remember this from editing but this at this point i was dead inside i, I can't you can't do this against good players and i was saying to myself right before that you can't win the game uh before half but you can definitely lose it and at this point i was like okay i just i just lost the game even though i know what what happens in these situations i just lost it like there's there's no way that i'm winning this but you just gotta play on i mean i'm playing versace i if worst things worst comes to worst i'm gonna record this for youtube video even if i make it a little bit close i can make a youtube video out of this and this is i just like making videos like this so of course stay in the game as he sends the heater right here good defense by him 13 16 if i don't get this then it's pretty much over as i throw this corner out and motherfucker almost animates i was i was talking to the chat after this is there's no way that this was that close but Thankfully, got the first right there, throwing it to the flat. And I, I watched this back uh, in, uh, from his uh, Twitch channel. He was just like, yeah, I'm going to give this all day. I'm going to give it all, this all day. Well, that's what I have to do. I have to take this punch. It's predicated on taking the flat route, uh, flat routes, the short yards, and then try to hit the deeper throws as I did right there. So I'm just going to have to do that. I'm going to have to stay patient. It's right there. He is a terrible user. Throw the post. And I score, and I took three minutes off the clock, which is not ideal. Going for two right here. Throw the slant, but tail is there. There was no way to throw that ball. Even if I high pass it, I'm afraid uh, Devin Hester is too short. So, yeah, good defense by him on that two-point play. Maybe that yeah, was bad offense by me. Maybe that was a bad play call. But down five points. I don't see myself winning this game uh, by a lot of points. That's all I'm going to say. Right there, scrambles up with Daniel Jones. I try to send the spy, but of course, everybody is so far away that it takes... 10 years to get there and I run a cover too and he just beats me down the sideline. Man, that's, that's rough. As he takes some time off the clock right here. So 25-13 uh, with 20 seconds left in the third. That's not ideal, of course. And again, I didn't think that I was going to have any chance in this game. And I was just like, okay, get this ball at 25 and now just move. Get out of bounds. Try to get as many yards as possible and as quickly as possible. It's right there. You can see throw the corner out to the sideline. Beautiful at the 44-yard line. Now, fourth quarter, need to come back. 12 points, not easy. Whew, I, was, I was close. I mean, I thought he was going to get there with Acrobat, but he just barely didn't. It's right there. Released the delay fade. And I get some nice yards on that. Beautiful. Down to the 19-yard line. First and 10 running that post and I'm gonna laser it to Shipley. Now he's just out of reach there of Tra uh, Trayvon Morick. Actually look kind of scary, not gonna lie to you. Not going to lie, down five points and this is, this is where I'm like, okay, I'm gonna have to, it, it's difficult because I don't wanna give him a touchdown or give him too many big plays, but I also can't let him milk the clock. So this is where, where things become very difficult. I think he actually misplayed this kind of. Looking back at it, of course, uh, hindsight is 2020. He really should be taking more time off the clock. He really should not be throwing this ball away. He really should have ran the ball more. Of course, I know that's not his style. It's right there. Oh my God, if I have Acrobat there, then that's a pick. But Devin White is not going to pick that. He's down to the uh, three, two yard line right here. Two minute warning, you can see up there. As nothing is open, he tries to scramble, but we just collapsed the pocket soon enough. Third and goal right here, now he runs the ball. And he gets stopped. For Yarlan, he has to kick this. There is no way around it, in my opinion. I'm not sure if I like my timeout call there, but it is what it is. Down eight points. Uh, returning with kill to the 27. And he really should have taken more time off the clock. Because now I can, I can actually take this to Galloway and I can get out of bounds it's, it's, it's very simple to take the flat once again and I take it out of bounds 
I'm getting simple yards and I'm getting out of bounds, which is easy. Now, throwing it over the middle, not calling my timeout. I actually think that I hurried up right there. Throwing it to the flat once again. And I'm just, oh, this. the reason why I'm doing this is, of course, because I want to not get sacked and I want to get the ball off fast as I didn't get out of bounds there, which was tough. But I throw it to the post and now I have to call my timeout. And I like that. At the 22-yard line, and I'll talk about why I throw these flats in a second. It's right there. Daniel Jones is going to scramble to the outside. Get out of bounds, which is crucial. Second and seven right here. I'm going to throw it to the corner out, and you can see me. This this should be a pick, but I'm going to... Okay, I'm uh, sorry. It's, it's, it's just things... Oh, my God. I And that's oh, that's such a good read. I, I saw his user, and he was just breaking off his fourth and seven right here. He This corner bites on the out route, and I throw that corner out. Now, actually, as I was re-watching it... Oh, my God. So, uh, I need this. Okay. Actually, I was, as I was re-watching it, he had perfect defense out there. He had a deep quarter or deep third. I don't know which one it was, but it just... Suck down and what you want me to do? I'm gonna throw that and you can't you can't be mad at the game, but at the end of the day it's GG's. I'm sorry. Second and four right here. That's right there. I go back with Darren White. I just don't want him to throw that. He scrambles for Justin um, not the yards though, and he, oh that's actually a really good throw down there. Think about it. At the 40 yard line. And he's gonna put his field goal block. I uh, field goal block is good. We're gonna put a field goal unit out there. He just doesn't get it, he bounces off the crossbar. One yard, man. One yard, and that's good. So that was actually huge. And you can see I win the toss with him. going to receive it because he has not stopped me the last drives that I tried to move the ball. And I can't stop him either. So, of course, this is not really a question. So right there, I just struck Javon Morick just to make him feel the pain. So I can throw that smoke screen right here again. And he was talking afterwards. Yeah, smoke screen, throwing ass, motherfucker. Yeah, that's just... I don't know. That's just maybe that's just me this year. I just like throwing these little smoke screens as I roll out. Throw that rollout corner right here. As nothing is open, I'm just gonna check it down. And he actually hits me pretty hard right there. Second and five. You can see running a flood kind of play. Delay fade is there. Gonna throw it to the 17 yard line. Yeah, that's the 17 yard line. First and 10 right here. And he bites down with his user. And I throw the post. And you can see me right there. I'm hyped. I'm clapping. Standing up, flexing them. Uh, invisible muscles you, you really it doesn't look like i'm it doesn't look like i'm participating in any sportive activities but yeah that's the game hope you guys enjoyed it man i re looking back on it i really have no idea how i came back but yeah that's besides the point hope you guys learned something from this if you want to get my offense of course check it out in the description below over on jtips.net and yeah see you in the next video peace out you guys